So, in this video we're going to start looking at drawing parabolas. Okay, and I've got myself an equation of a parabola. y equals x squared minus 3x minus 2. I know it's a parabola because it's got an x squared in it. Okay, if it's a positive x squared, I'm expecting it to be a u shape. If it's a negative x squared, so minus x squared, it's probably going to be, well, it's going to be an n shape. The thing about parabolas is it doesn't matter what happens after that x squared bit, it's always going to be a u shape or an n shape. Okay? So that's what I'm expecting. So this is a step up from our straight line graphs. In this video we're going to actually plot the parabola, but in most of the other videos we're going to be talking about, we're going to be talking about sketching parabolas. Okay? And there's a difference because you don't plot every single point. Now, of course, it's important to talk about your graphics calculator because they can draw these for you. However, you still need to be able to find the points. So, I've broken up my equation into bits. So, I've got my x squared bit because there was an x squared there. And then I've got a minus 3x bit, which is there. And then I've got my y bit, which is going to be my x squared bit, plus my minus 3x bit. And then I've got a minus 4 at the end, so I'm going to take away 4 from every value. So I'm going to fill in my top row, then I'm going to fill in my second row, then I'm going to work out my y's. So we should be able to then draw the graph. So if I've got minus 4 squared, that's 16, because minus 4 times minus 4 is 16. And minus 3 times minus 3 is 9. And minus 2 times minus 2 is 4. One, minus 1 times minus 1 is 1, 0, 1, 4, 9, 16. And this leads us straight to an important part about parabolas. Most parabolas are symmetrical. So you will find a point where, in this case, on my top row, at 0, all the numbers are the same both sides. If you ever get a minus number in when you've worked out what x squared is, you've probably gone wrong, unless you're working out what minus x squared is when every single number should be negative. Right, so I need to do minus 3 times minus 4. Minus 3 times minus 4 is 12. Minus 3 times minus 3 is 9. Minus 2 times minus 3 is 6. Minus 1 times minus 3 is 3. 0 times minus 3 is 0. 1 times minus 3 is minus 3. 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. 3 times minus 3 is minus 9. 4 times minus 3 is minus 12. And my last bit is I've got to work out my y. Now my y is made up of my x squared bit plus my minus 3x bit take away 4. And that's what y equals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 16, I'm going to add my 12 and I'm going to take away 4. 16 plus 12 is 28, minus 4 is 24. That's rather big. 8 plus, 9 plus 9 minus 4 is 18 minus 4, which is 14. That's going to be 6. That's going to be 4, so that's 0. That's going to be minus 4. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Minus 4 is minus 6. Minus 6. Minus 4. 0. So I've got my values. Now I can automatically see that my parabola's bottom is between minus one and minus two, or so between one and two. So I've got to plot these. So that's minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six. So I've got those two values there. At three, it's minus four, and at that is minus four. At minus 1 it's 0 and at 4 it's 0 and at minus 2 it's 6. So at 5 it will be 6 and that is my parabola. Now I've got to be careful because my parabola should be a smooth curve and there you go. So I've plotted my parabola. Right. So that gives you an idea of a parabola. The next set of videos are going to be looking at how we can transform those parabolas and move those around.